Hey, welcome to I'm the Worst Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Buck. Um, you can find more of me by looking up at Funny as Buck on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, on any of those social. I'm not really on TikTok that much. I don't know why I say that. You know what? Why am I even talking about me? You can look up our podcast uh, stuff at uh, I'm the Worst Pod on Instagram or Twitter. You know what? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Every week, I mean it when I say thank you guys for supporting this podcast and giving it a listen. Um, you know, take a small moment to like it, subscribe to it, review it, all of that, where, uh, you know, wherever you stream it, uh, things like that, they help in a huge, huge, huge way. Uh, if you aren't aware, this is the podcast where we have comedians share what they're the absolute worst at as we explore some of their uh, biggest oopsies, their biggest failures, and uh, we laugh at it. We find a way to laugh at it. Joining me today for this discussion, an awesome uh, rising comedian who just, I think, recorded something for SiriusXM yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, thrilled to have, have him as a guest right now. Simon Gibson, everybody. Simon Gibson. Hey, you, hey. You come on. You there it is. Yeah, yeah, Rousing, there. standing ovation. God, I need it. Yeah. God, I love it. Not oh, yeah. used to it. How are you, Simon? How you doing, man? Oh, doing great. Just, uh, you know, coming to you live from my... <laughs> pretty fabulous uh one bedroom apartment no big deal it's nice i like the i like the little bookcase of uh of things behind it. what are those trinkets they call them there's like a word for little things you put on shelves i don't know the word yeah we got we got some little trinkets uh also you know um my dad you know makes magic wands so i i have uh, like five of them on the mantle it's the mantle is basically a built-in it came with the apartment but it seems like it was just uh made for yeah uh, what a set to, I, I yeah i know you well enough to know that your dad does that but yeah for uh how great would if i just breeze by that yeah my dad makes magic wands and uh, yeah we just over don't. here we have the coffee maker and over there we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah we just never bring it up again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nobody uh, wants it uh that's hilarious um you did you recorded something yesterday right for uh serious xm is that right yeah, uh, just for as part of the Netflix is a joke festival. So, um, yeah, I think it's just going to go on their Netflix is serious channel. But oh, I have literally no clue when. Cool. I think it's today at some point. But again, <laughs> oh, that's no, cool. Yeah, maybe it's no already, real idea. Maybe it's already out by the time you listen to this. Uh, but yeah, but, I mean, before we get into the actual podcast, let everyone know uh, anything that you do want to plug, uh, where to find you already projects you're working on any of that. Uh, let's get it out of the way up top uh, out of the way up top you can just follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter at simey gibson simey gibson yeah uh, a little simey baby and then <laughs> um yeah you can uh, just I, I post about all that stuff on there if you ever want uh, if you ever want to come to a show <laughs> what a concept <laughs> uh there you go um sweet um all right, well, let's uh, let's get into it. Um, I like to start with just saying what I'm the worst at. I apologize if I sound a little sick right now. I'm feeling a little under the weather, and it's reminded me that I am the worst at going to a doctor or taking care of myself. I think uh, last time I got a physical was probably in high school, so pretty bad at that. I am uh, I'm the worst with hospitals. I'm the worst with doctors. I fainted in a hospital uh, one time. I picked my sister up from surgery. Uh, and, uh, I fainted in the waiting room. So it quickly became to like, oh, she's fine. What's wrong with this guy? I think I was hung over. Actually, it was the actual issue, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I get squeamish in hospitals. Uh, what about you? Do you feel that way in hospitals at all? Or I do not, uh, I, yeah, I do not like hospitals, uh, one bit, you know, call yeah, me yeah. crazy, but not my, not my favorite place. Yeah, I wonder to if be. people really enjoy them. I like, you know, someone's just like jazzed about going, hey, let's go get, be around all these sick people. Let's see who's dying. I like just being in that vibe. You know, it's yeah. like, I will say there was a, the only time I did enjoy going was there's a 24 hour subway in the women's hospital in my hometown. It was the only subway that was 24 hours. So, you know, if you wanted, to, <laughs> if you wanted a sandwich, you'd have to go after like midnight. You go in there at Subway at 1 a.m. Some lady's giving birth and you're getting a six inch turkey. 
kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but that's the only time I enjoyed going to a hospital. Um, I gotta go. I gotta go to this hospital. They got the best subway. Yeah, yeah. in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only eat at hospitals, and uh, this one's got a good subway in it. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, well, we're not here to talk about what I'm bad at and what I'm the worst at. We're here to talk about what you suck at. Uh, what are you bad at? What do you feel at? What do you feel like you're the worst at? Oh man, I'm so. There's so many. There's so many things, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I was, you know, I'm, I've been thinking about this because, uh, you know, comedy is a business and um, it is, uh, you know, you do kind of have to be your own company. And with that comes administrative uh, things and organization. And I would just say that generally I am such a fucking airhead. <laughs> and I don't think I ever, <laughs> I never really learned how to, um, how to type on a computer, yeah. like the, a proper way. You're a one finger typer. I am. I, and I look at it. Too, so like <laughs> It's like two fingers on each hand, but I have to look at the keys and it's, and I had to like um, a little Tyrannosaurus Rex. Trying to <laughs> yeah. <keep it>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a velociraptor trying to make a spreadsheet you know yeah. um so you know and i only realized this because recently i did i i was working at an office job and um you know and it, even though it was like in sales uh it was still like you know i i had to know how to use an excel spreadsheet you know quick books just like all this administrative stuff that like you know other than the times that i was on tv and like getting paid to do comedy, yeah. I've pretty much worked in customer service since I was 16, you yeah, know? Yeah. So like I worked at restaurants, I worked at delis. My first job was at fucking Hollywood video, you know? So Classic. it's like, I don't have any experience in an office setting. Yeah. So truly when I'm there, when it's not involving me, like, being charming or talking to people i actually feel like a fraud Mm. uh you know sending you know like when someone's like oh we need you to cc blah 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 blah, and then we need (laughs) you to bcc and i'm like i'm like is that their real name (laughs) yeah i'm similar Uh, my uh yeah i'm I'm, my girlfriend is like works in an office setting sends emails does calls all day not me i'm i grew up like i'm a line cook my whole life basically working in kitchens i need just put me in the action i need to be physical I don't know business. I don't know the jargon, I guess. Is the word. Even that word, I'm not sure if it was the right word to use. But, you know, like if I had just sent a professional email, ugh, I, I, it seems like you just gave your computer to a 10 year old. It's like, what's <laughs> yeah. up, bro? Want to? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Let's let's circle back in Q3. And yeah, uh, and I just like, mirror what I hear other people say. So I'm just yeah. like literally like, yeah, we'll circle back. Let's put a pin in it, you know? Yeah, Q2 to Q3, <laughs> yeah. uh, poo poo pee pee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's kind of my whole thing. So, you're, um, uh, so you feel like you're the worst at, uh, just, just being in an office, then, huh? Have you, did now, do you have like an office job? I guess you're saying like comedy, like being a comedian, you have to, feel yeah. Like- and I guess it's like, you know, knowing, you know, uh, just kind of getting into that sort of thing of with, with these sort of, more administrative things that are boring that aren't the fun stuff i guess i'm i guess overall i'm bad at doing the things that that are necessary but are not fun you Mm -hmm. know so like everyone wants to play the game yeah and i even enjoyed the practice aspect of it which i would consider like open mics you know yeah um you know all of that stuff is fun but then when it comes to like you know the, the actual boring work side, which is like sending out booking requests. Oh man, sending updating. like 40 booking emails and having to set reminders to follow up. And Yes, updating yeah, that... your calendar, you know, uh, cre- creating merch, you know, just all this stuff that like mm. literally, unless you are at a, at a level where you're hiring people to do this, you know, it really is all on all on you. And it's it's the stuff that's not fun. You know, it's not the game. It's not playing, you know, so it's just, 
especially uh, if you're not getting paid for it yet either. You know, a exactly. lot of it's like a free labor early on in a, in a comedian's career. Like 100%. This, like this podcast. What am I? I? I'm not getting no sponsors. You guys are listening to this ad free. By the way, make sure you like and subscribe while you still can uh, <laughs> before <laughs> yeah. I put it behind because, a paywall. <laughs> because you don't know. You could be paying. You could be freaking, you know. Paying, uh, paying uh, dollars, singles of dollars for this <laughs> yeah. podcast. Someday. Yeah, who knows? And even then you put that. I look at people, too, who have a podcast and then a Patreon. The Patreon's extra work just to get maybe some money. Oh, Such yeah. a gamble. Uh, but yeah, I hear you. Um, but then tough. when you get it, when you get that money, though, when you get that Patreon money. Yeah, no one gets into comedy thinking like, oh, man, I can't wait to be a comedian so I can, uh, you know, pencil so i can set aside two days of the week to just send emails and uh see oh if yeah dates are available and if my credits are good enough and things like that <laughs> yeah see if i, I mean, can really sell myself to uh to a potential producer yeah i'm just trying and, and that's all it is is we're like selling ourselves for free and you know la is like la is the type of town at least for me where it's like you know, you're basically, you're not just working for free. You're literally paying to work, you know? Oh, for sure. So it's just this, uh, it's just this whole thing where you're like, where it's this dangling carrot, you know, just in front of you. But, and it's like, but you're paying, you're like paying to plow the field mm -hmm. with this dangling carrot. And that dangling carrot is like, what, what, what is it even anymore? Because there's no, like, there's no clear path. Yeah, there's no set blueprint, you know, and it's like, you know, one guy could just go viral overnight. And now he's the big star. And you're like, what? what, what yeah. What, how, what about all the work I did? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you you will drive yourself crazy. And so it's I just think, you know, consistency is, you know, the name of the game. And, you know, just at just trying your very best to not become cynical and yeah. bitter. But you're saying you suck at that, so uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And look at me, here I'm doing freaking great. <laughs> I got hey, a one you just bedroom try apartment. A little bit. Even if you suck at it, you could still succeed. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just have to be, uh, you know, supremely insane. Yeah, and, no, uh... no, I hear you. It's it's tough. Um, so do you have like a do you have like a specific story or example of the time you felt like uh, like this? Uh this was the most annoying or crippling setback for you, I guess, having to do all this like businessy end of being a comedian. Oh, wow. That's a good, that's a good question. Now I'm trying to like, what's it, what's an I'm exact trying to think moment. myself. I mean, there's times where I've like, uh, you know, you just like cold DM a, a specific, uh, well, I, maybe I can think of one. There's a specific comedian. I've like, I, you know, I've talked with, or I texted, someone gave me a number. I texted them. Being like, oh, so and so gave me your number, and I reached out to book them, and they were like, uh, "Hey, lose my number. <laughs> like, don't ever talk. To, like, don't Whoa. don't go about this way doing this or something yeah. like that, you know." And it's like, oh, I didn't know, <laughs> you know, like, uh, or yeah, you know, stuff like that, where it's like, I guess I wasn't professional enough, but I thought I was, you know. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, so I would say, hmm, definitely definitely like not planning ahead. So I remember, uh, this was the first time that, that I ever like went on, that I ever went on a, like what I would call a tour, mm -hmm. but really it was like, you know, traveling just to different cities and doing like local showcase shows, yeah, like you know, I wasn't like, and stuff. yeah, exactly. Sure. And, and I remember I, had, I, I mean, hey, it's with, technically a tour, you know, why not? Yeah, technically. You're like, it was two shows, Jeff. It was two shows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, almost like <laughs> so so this was uh something that you know we routed. It was like a group of us. There was like seven of us. Okay. And we were like, Yeah, we're going on tour. We had to take two separate cars, number one, <laughs> obviously. And we were doing shows in literally three cities. San Francisco, Oklahoma City, and Denver. <laughs> so San Francisco was the first stop. Yeah. So we drive from LA to San Francisco. What a weird, 
six hours you guys are going all over you couldn't just go to like san diego and (laughs) well yeah here's the thing so we we get to san francisco not even until we're on the way to san francisco just one night just one night of shows in san francisco uh we (laughs) we get up there and then we realize that from San Francisco, the only way to go to Oklahoma City is by going all the way back down to LA and then going east. So not only was it, it was a completely unnecessary stop, but it literally added six hours and, you know, however much gas to our trip. Yeah, yeah. So then we go from San Francisco all the way to New Mexico. <laughs> no shows in new mexico we yeah, just stop in new just mexico stop there probably yeah <laughs> uh and then and then basically we're basically split up into these two cars yeah yeah so so and we're in the car the majority of the time so we drive you know what is it like from san francisco to new mexico i think it was like eight ten hours uh we we see each other at the motel that we're at yeah um and then from New Mexico, drive basically, I don't even know, 12, 10 hours or something. This is a wild uh, tour. To, was, yeah. Is this mostly like, was this mostly just like, we just want to have a road trip with our friends? Well, that's not, that's what it became. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but half of my friends I didn't even see for more than like uh, yeah. a couple hours because they were in the other car. You're, yeah, you're stuck in the car without your friends. You're just like, all right, I'm in the other car with these yeah or comics i don't even know that well and so then we get to oklahoma we uh the the day that we get there uh we're just like hanging out um but we (laughs) there was tornado warnings in oklahoma in the area that we were in yeah and so we there was like one moment where we're just all hanging out and we're just like they're like oh this happens all the time don't worry like the people we're staying with and then one of the guys looks up and he's like oh that's not good yeah and then the other car with full of your friends gets swept up in the tornado yeah you never never see him again (laughs) never saw him again they're gone for good Uh, just kidding and uh (laughs) so we basically have to get into this tornado shelter uh wizard of oz style you know we're getting in the shelter (laughs) and by the time we could rustle up everyone to get in there it the tornado was gone and they're like no it's fine and then it just started hailing golf ball sized chunks of ice jesus um and then the next day we did the show uh it was fun you know and then we had to wake up the next morning at like 6 a.m to drive all the way to denver to do one show such a strange trajectory of a tour, but it was the it, worst. Were you guys living in? You guys were living in LA at the time. We were all living in LA. Yeah, so strange. Uh, and uh, and then I had to work, so we wake up in Denver, uh, and then I'm like, I have to work the next day. <laughs> so we drove straight back from Denver to Los Angeles, like. 15 hours or oh, something man. like those cars smelled so bad i bet i bet the smell is still in those cars oh yeah i mean fortunately <laughs> i didn't have a car at the time <laughs> yeah, so. so it wasn't yours <laughs> it was not mine but <laughs> but just really that was one of those things where it's like okay if you're gonna do something and i lost i probably spent so much 500 dollars on yeah, that trip exactly. and i was like i was about, a barista I mean, you know the, the, the show's paid what 20 dollars and some drink tickets maybe oh, maybe yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe if you're lucky yeah. So yeah, you're just spending all that gas money. Oh, it was insane. And you're buying an food and insane thing to do. Yeah. Uh, was lodging? You were just kind of sleeping on friends' couches, or were you guys getting hotels? Yeah, no, there was only the the night in New Mexico where we stayed at like a Motel Six, okay, and then okay. the rest was yeah. I mean, like sleeping on floors, comics basically. floors yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, uh, that's wild. That was the first time where I was like, oh, if you're gonna do this whole like DIY thing, you know, like <laughs> you really need to look at a fucking map and make <laughs> make a little sheet it sounds like you guys like work. threw darts at some fucking at a map yeah and like, all right those three that's where we're going 100 100 
Um, that's so funny. Yeah. So it wasn't like there was no business planning behind it at all. It was just no. like, uh, we just want to fucking have fun. Just, I mean, there's, I mean, but hey, there, you know, there, there's, there's an upside to that too, I guess, in a way, you know, you yeah. get, get fun stories out of it. You had a, it was good, a good time. And, and so much shit happened on that trip. I, that I like, also, I realized, you know, like I'm, I'm a short guy, mm-hmm. but I did realize when we drove through the Midwest, I was like, I could never, I'm barely a human man in these places. Like when we went to Kansas and we stopped at a McDonald's, I'm not even literally everyone in there was like six foot six. <laughs> They're all just carrying bales of hay on their backs. Yeah. <laughs> my, my freaking feet were like dangling <laughs> at the, on the, on these like benches, like a little goddamn kid. <laughs> it's so strange. I never thought about, yeah, I guess they're, they just breed them different in the middle. <laughs> I mean, know? they're all just farm. Yeah, they're just yeah, carrying yeah. barrels of hay. <laughs> you know, they're yeah. <laughs> the horses are riding them. Out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, all right. Well, uh, I mean, have you, are you, do you find yourself improving at this, uh, at, at being a better business savvy behind the comedy stuff? Or are you still, I, I would kinda... definitely say if anything that, that having that office job, you know, and like having to read emails carefully, mm-hmm. having to like fill in documents carefully, you know, has, and like learning these skills that I had no idea how to use before a hundred percent. It, it made me, you yeah. know, much better at, at then, you know, hopefully, you know, what do you call it? Um, utilizing it in my own, yeah, for myself. Cause I'm like, I'm this careful for someone else. And yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. that careful for myself. What's it's up with true. That? Yeah, it's crazy, especially, when, you know, it's like you start accepting bigger gigs and things like that. And you're like, oh, maybe there is something to re- reading the terms and conditions. Maybe I shouldn't just blindly accept things and and uh, hope for the best. Uh, yeah, you got to like uh, <laughs> advocate for yourself and take the time to like, uh, yeah, I guess, care more about uh, the business end of it, which is great. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, if, if you don't come up in that world. And you yeah. kind of just stumble into it. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of learn the hard way sometimes by going to three cities that are completely far, far from each other. <laughs> yeah, and uh, spending your whole paycheck from your uh, barista job. Barista job, job yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many lattes to get that far. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of lattes you have to make <laughs> to earn this money back. Um, all right. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think who else is maybe like the worst at uh being a business comedy business guy i'm thinking like mc hammer was pretty bad with his money uh he, yeah <laughs> man, yeah not really a comedian but uh i think that's the other thing too is like you know god forbid i ever you know get a you know a shit ton of money doing this then it's uh, like you really have to be careful with the people you're surrounding yourself with freaking dane cook's brother stole yeah. all of his money yeah jamie jamie kennedy has a similar story about uh i remember hearing him one time talk about like a lot of the people around him as he was getting all this money you just gotta like you start realizing like oh these not all these people have my best interest you know they just see you as like a dollar sign yeah um siphon yeah, you Dane know just Cook, siphon like your you money said. who else uh there's that uh, kanye west someone from kanye west stole his laptop one time or something like that i don't know wasn't that a thing that happened oh before? wow no i didn't even know that i mean it's that's like kind cousin. of the thing it's like <clears throat> yeah i don't know uh by the end of it you're just like well shit yeah i got nothing left what about the gallagher's didn't they have some sort of like business drama i don't know but i i would just like take a wager that most comedians are not very good with finances yeah yeah oh for sure yeah i mean (laughs) i mean we're degenerates you know you get into this for drink tickets and like just like and like the the good times you didn't get into it I remember okay. how how happy I was the first time you know I got a drink ticket for doing this. I was just oh, yeah. like, "What? I fucking yeah. did it!" <laughs> remember the first time I got money for comedy as I won a talent show in fifth grade. Did a sketch, uh, got like twenty bucks in fifth grade. I blew that money so fast. Oh, <laughs> all the yeah. all those chocolate yuhus or whatever I bought. Oh, <laughs> uh, the more the more you make, the more you spend. You know, yeah, it should have just... been a red flag. uh but yeah who's the best at it who's the best business uh business savvy i guess you got to look at people like uh i mean you got to look at some of the greats uh, quote unquote you know you got to look at Chappelle and 
God forbid we say his name, Joe Rogan and things like that. I mean, as much as people hate him, they got a good business mind to them, you know? Yeah. Or a good team. You know, that's at that point you become so big. You you build a business of like team, you build a team around you, you know, you're no longer doing it yourself. No. Um, I guess Doug Stanhope, he kind of does it himself. He's pretty big. He seems like a good businessman maybe. Yeah. I mean, he is also someone who, who definitely like went hard at the DIY. Yeah, yeah, well, that's not. I'm know. trying to. I'm trying to attribute it to like a DIY comic who also has the good like business sense behind him. Uh, but yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyway, there's they're out there. Um, well, you know, hey, you uh, Simon, you might think you're the worst at uh, doing business and comedy, but you're you're a great podcast guest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all I can do. You you're know, good. At, you're good at doing that. You're good at being funny on the stage, uh, and that's all that matters in the end. You know um that's it literally that should be all that matters yeah so uh that's- you know i like to keep these things short you know we get you in you get you out um so thanks for coming on the podcast uh before i go though real quick before we go a quick game uh i would like to play uh that we end the show with is yeah just a segment i call who's the worst yeah uh, and i ask the guess who's the worst every time uh, i'll say who's the worst for you who's the worst batman who do you think the worst batman is um who do i think the worst batman is honestly i i have to go and this does not pain me to say it at all a lot of people think ben affleck no 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 no. ben affleck was fucking hilarious as batman (laughs) that's he was i the movies were bad but he was cracking me up I got to go. I got to go. George Clooney. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I think it Just is. I think trash. I was, I was going to say Val I Kilmer, think, but I was like, I don't want to besmirch his good name. He's no, done. I think George Clooney could have been, was, was like a good Bruce Wayne. You know, he was like that playboy millionaire. It's almost yeah. like, I don't know, but then it just like didn't translate into a good Batman. It's like if, uh, if you put Brad Pitt as Batman, you're like, well, he's a great Bruce Wayne probably, but probably not a yeah. good Batman. Nobody wants this Batman. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, all right. Cool. Um, the, you know, I don't want to linger too much on that. This podcast is over now. <laughs> George, <laughs> George Clooney, I'll see you in hell. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for this week's episode of I'm the Worst. Again, thank you, Simon, for being on and uh, devoting your time. I appreciate that so much. Um, yeah, we'll you see you guys next me. week. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye.